Hi, my name is Ryan Kelly and I work here at Beaver Coat Sales and Service. Today I'm going to walk you through this 2002 Beaver Marquee. The previous owners put some great add-ons to it, so I want to point those out as we come to them. Let's start on the side of the coach. First thing I want to point out is the fact it has turn signal cameras. So when you're getting ready to change lanes going down the road, it gives you a very clear picture of that blind spot so you can make a safe transition into the next lane. And moving back, you see the fuel tank on the coach. You can fill this on either side. Uh, the tires are 2014, so they're recently new tires in good condition. The first bay that we come to here has the aqua hot in it. This is a great, great system. What this does is it heats up the water in the coach and it works as your unlimited hot water supplies. Now this is also going to work as your furnace. So what it does is it heats up the water and then blows air out in the ducts and gives you this really nice, warm, radiant, kind of a tropical heat as opposed to a propane system that's going to give you a lot more of a dry kind of a heat. So great system in the coach. People really, really like that. Everything has easy access, so anytime you need to get it serviced or anything worked on it, uh, the techs can get right to it and, and get you in and out. Moving back to our second day here, uh, first thing I want to point out, the previous owners were so kind to leave a lot of great stuff in here that you're going to need. Uh, things like extra filters that left hoses, uh, they're just getting out of RV, and so they, they left all the things that they bought that you might need. In this tube here, we have some custom sunscreens. What's nice about that is if you're down in the desert and the sun's shining, there's snaps in the front of the coach, and you're going to be able to put it up on the windshield and on the windows help keep your coach cool. Moving on to the battery bay here, we have six house batteries. These are six volt deep cycle batteries and the chassis has 12 volt batteries. Now the chassis batteries and coach batteries both have disconnects there so you can completely shut off the power in the coach. In the back of the coach here, you'll notice that the previous owners left their tow hitch. It also has an air system so the air brakes on your tow vehicle work. Moving to the back here, you'll notice that there's a 50 amp power cord that runs into the coach. Now this is going to be what's called your shore power. It's on a power reel, powers in, powers out. Really slick system. And there's something I want to point out on the tires as well. The previous owners put an air pressure tire monitoring system on it. So on every tire of the coach it has this monitoring system and you have a reader at the front of the coach that tells you where the air pressure is on all of them. Now this is for all the tires on the coach and for the four on your tow vehicle. So that's a nice extra perk when you're going down the road. It really helps you keep an eye on the air pressure in your vehicles. Now we come to the wet bay. Beaver's always been known to have a really sanitary, really nice system here in the back for the wet bay. What you have on the side is each and every one of these uh, bathroom, shower, washer, uh, spare, low point drain. Each one of these hoses has two different hoses. There's one for hot water and one for cold water. Uh, other coaches in the same kind of time area just had one tube that ran through the length of the coach and if you got a leak in a different area you'd have to shut down the water on the, the whole coach. Here let's say you had a leak in the kitchen sink you could shut down that hose directly and still have water pressure to the rest of the coach until you get that fixed. It's a really slick system a lot of people especially our experienced RV owners like that kind of system on the coach. All right on the side of the coach here you're going to see the 10 kilowatt quiet Onan diesel generator. Now this is going to give you all your power when you're not hooked up to shore. Moving to the front of the coach, in our first bay here we have the electronics compartment. This is just going to give you a clear read of all the electronics and where the, where the wires go to on the coach. So if you zoom in you'll be able to notice that every single wire on the coach has, uh, has it labeled where that goes to. So anywhere in the country where you're getting service done on, they're going to be able to see the wires, know where that's going, and make sure you're not cutting wires where you shouldn't. We're going to start with a tour of the inside of the coach in the cockpit area. So moving from the back forward, we have the auto leveling system. You just turn it on and press level, and it automatically levels out the coach. Moving forward, you have the air brake, a real simple system there. And in front of that, you have the Allison transmission. This is going to be your automatic trans transmission here. It just has drive, neutral, reverse, and economy mode, but also has the option to manually shift up and down if you're going up hills and want to get into a different gear. Right next to the steering wheel, you'll see the aftermarket Kenwood system. The previous owners put this in here. It's a really slick system. You just plug in your smartphone and all your music can run through there. Your GPS can be displayed. It's just a, a really slick system. You can also run your phone calls through the speakers of the coach. And here's a little microphone for that. And then to the right of this is the Silver Leaf system. This is a very advanced system for its day and age. It tells you all the diagnostics on the coach when you're running down the road in live action. So it gives you all those digital readouts on this screen here. 
In the front here we have an aftermarket TV. This is a flat screen TV. It replaced the tube screen that used to be in here. You have Bose surround sound system. Also they added two inert speakers up front here that gives you a great, great sound when you're watching your movies in the front of the coach. Beaver has always been really well known for the high-end wood. The craftsmanship here is fantastic. Over 48 man hours went into these cabinets. Has two different kinds of woods in the burl and outlay here. And they used a lot of lacquer. It gives it a really nice shine. Uh, something that Beaver is definitely famous for. Moving deeper into the kitchen, you'll notice this is a residential style faucet here with instant hot. Convection microwave and a stove top. Two burner stove top here for the, the Beaver marquee. The CMP20 coach monitoring panel here gives you the both legs of the coach. It shows you your fresh water tank, gray tank, black tank, LP tank, uh, the different levels of that. It just is a very, very slick system. It's a one touch button below for all access there to the coach. Next we have the two door Dometic refrigerator. This is an electric and LP. So depending on if you're plugged into short power or you're just driving down the road, it's gonna be able to run and switch between those functions. Across from the sink, the toilet has its own room. In the shower here, you have adjustable shower head, and you have the splendid combo washer and dryer right above that. Tons of storage for towels and just extra shelf space. We're going to end our tour here in the back of the coach. For this floor plan in the 2002 Beaver Marquis, you have a big screen TV, your Blu-ray player and satellite system up top, bookshelves on both sides, a queen size bed, a lot of storage space with the safe in it and closet. And you also have the Bose surround sound system. So when you're watching those late night movies, you'll be able to listen to it with prime sound. So this brings us to the end of the tour. We hope that you enjoyed it. Call me if you have any questions about the coach. My number here at the store is 541-322-2184 and ask for Ryan. Or you can call me on my cell phone, 541-55. That's actually my cell phone right there. Wow, what are the odds? And it's Beaver Coach Sales calling me. Hello, this is Ryan. <laughs>